Hello guys, welcome to AmpSim Exploration Voyage number 3. Today I have some new AmpSims to try out. Many of them are from uh, Vadim Taranov. Uh, most of them are free. And if I don't say that it's demo or anything like that, it means it's free. I'm gonna show you the interfaces of them as well because I haven't tried these before, so uh, I'm gonna want to show them a little bit more through thoroughly. But other than, other than that, it's gonna be the same old test, the same old riff with the same old drums, just like in the previous videos. And we're just gonna take a listen and uh, keep working down on this list here. So we're gonna start with uh, the Cypress TT15 that I found from, I believe, Black Rooster Audio. Yep, this is it. And this amp is really funny because all the tone controls react very differently at various settings like they affect each other and stuff so weirdly enough i when i dial in tones i like to experiment with the extremes so i have to tweak every knob and like figure out what it sounds like at, the, at its lowest and at its uh, maximum and then see how that how that uh, affects everything else and then i sort of tweak from there so this one ended up being like this. It looks hor horrible, but doesn't sound as bad. So, and uh, everything is like in the previ previous videos. The cab is the same for all of the amp sims, and that's the Catharsis Awesome Time S Press High, which many of you use. It's a great cab. So I'm not gonna go, in go into more details about any EQ settings, but some. This isn't even enabled, uh, but this one is, yeah. Anyway, some some plugins, I decided to get rid of some high-end, and sometimes I use the low pass here, sometimes I put an EQ after, sometimes I combine them, like in this case. So anyway, it doesn't matter, as long as it sounds uh, fun <laughs> or good. So we're gonna start with Wagner Sharp just to have a reference uh, because I like this this one the most actually so far. It's kind of be hard to beat the Wagner Sharp in terms of the tonal balance and the fatness while still being clear. And I like it. I like it. Um, there's some others I like a lot as well, but most of them actually sound pretty good in my ears. So, okay, let's go. We're gonna listen to the Wagner Sharp and then uh, start from Cypress TT15 and work our way down. <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna turn off the repeat. There we go. So let's um, listen to the Cypress TT15. <laughs> let's go down to Quasa 1. This is a, a demo, so this is not free. I'm not gonna show you everything. This is just what, what it looks like. There's some built-in stuff here, noise, noise gate and distortion pedals, whatnot. And uh, this amp is something I built myself from Quasa's uh, repertoire. <laughs> they have like a custom amp here, uh, which, which lets you pick any tone stack and any output or power amp and you can combine them. And so I decided to do that to get what I thought was the best sounding and I didn't have time to try every other preset they had and combination so yeah it makes that noise because it's demo right let's go <laughs> Yeah, okay, and they also they also have a free version here, which looks like this, just a simple thing. Not 
not too different sounding from the paid version, at least in my setup. This is the Mercurial U530. It's the free version. You can't tweak a lot. Uh, it's just a few things you can tweak here. And uh, from here and downward, it's going to be all Vadim Tarano amps. This guy is quite amazing. He's made made a lot of <laughs> a lot of amps. This one is the Anvil Rhythm. And uh, this one is PV lead 5150 looks really really good actually and this one is the invasion demo version so the settings are snapped, like when you try to change them, they kind of snap to certain values. That's the limitation of this plugin. So let's listen. <laughs> Okay, and then we have the JCM 800 from uh, also Vadim Taranov, of course, and all the other amps are from him, from downwards from here. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is what it looks like. Uh, this is the same, but it's the 1986 version. They behave quite differently, as you can see in the how the tone is set up. This is the previous one. This is the 1986 model, and I have the uh, tone controls a bit differently to make it sound, yeah, good or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> This one is uh, also some uh, Marshall uh, amp, the Mars JCM 8H number 34 demo version. And this one is the Mars JFD TB1. Yeah, and this one is the lead ZE. Easy, 30. This one is the um, NSB amp. It looks like this. 
and sounds like this. <laughs> And this is the PV Fireball. This is the Rectifier. This one is cool. It's some 14 amp and I think they are kind of cool. Obviously this one is the demo version, as you can see. And this one is the Solar, kind of looks like the 14 amp in its controls. I'm not sure if it's actually a 14 amp or if it's some amp Vadim uh, Taranov has made himself. Not really sure, you can Google that. I'm just here to sound, uh, to show you what it sounds like. <laughs> Last but not least, it's the supersonic, <clears throat> kind of a simple amp. so which one was your favorite you can um, you can leave a comment and like and subscribe and all that shit but yeah please do leave a comment and say which one you like the most and uh, I'm not sure I have anything more to say really you can just google these amps yourself and uh, download them and try them anyway so thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you next time <laughs>